broadcasting live from Business Radio X Studios in Pensacola, Florida. This is I-10 Wired Radio, brought to you by IT Gulf Coast, Florida West, App River, and 850 Media. For more information, please visit i10wired.com. And now, here is your host. Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Hudson Wired Radio on this lovely cold winter. It is winter, right? Winter morning. <laughs> it feels like it. Feels like it. So um, I'm gathered here with the, the cleanup crew, I'm going to call us. Yeah. <laughs> the, the aftermath of what's left. The, the only ones that would answer my email to yeah, do the show exactly. is what it comes down to. The suckers basically. might be on our foreheads here at some point. Yeah. Um, I was thinking survivors. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's you. That's right. So uh, we're going to uh, talk about, well, I guess the wrap up, really. So yeah. Introduce everybody. Yeah, i let you go around the horn. Go for it. Jay. Jay. This is Jay Smith. I'm the sponsorship chair. Why isn't Jay coming through very loud? Go ahead. Uh, really close. Here, there you go. Right? There yeah, he is. There's better. Jay. Yep. Jay Smith, sponsorship chairman. <laughs> Five years. There you go. Jim Rhodes, App River. Been this is my sixth year directing the event. And six. The lovely Michelle. Michelle. So she's Jackson. on two, yeah? Yeah, second year. Right. Career Opportunities Expo. I'm on this will be year four I'm going into. Right? Is it? Yeah. Right yeah. I believe that's right. Yeah. So we all survived? Barely. Barely? <laughs> what did, uh, I mean, so I guess laid out, like what was good, what was bad, what was, what did all the surveys say? Um, they were all pretty positive. I mean, there's a few things we can tweak. We get that every year, and that's what we want to hear. We, we want to hear what we did well, and we want to hear what we didn't do so well. But um, everybody loved the programming this year. Um, they, they like the, uh, the the spacing of the between the event the sessions and all that um, the the reception everybody loved that too versus last year being out in you know ninety degree heat and whatever else uh, post hurricane type <laughs> the hot October yeah. yeah so they like bringing that indoors and uh, you know kind of having everybody in one room uh, it, it just overall I just I was pleasantly surprised I was a little worried because we. Uh, jazz things up with lunch and all that this year and I thought we might get a little bit of uh, that worked out pretty good though it did Um, I think we're still going to tweak it a little bit next year Um, actually have maybe a a lunch keynote and if you want to pay for lunch and listen to them then we'll have we'll have that going on we're still kind of figuring out what we want to do exactly but overall everybody loved it Um, bigger bigger and better this year we had uh, close to 450 attendees crazy which is about a 10% jump from last year it just keeps getting bigger every year and so and we had two hotels this time exactly yeah yeah so, which we may not do next year, though. We got to weigh that out. Yeah, I, we we didn't handle the the flow quite as well as we should have. Right. Um, directing people back and forth from there, um, and I don't think we utilized the space like we wanted to. Um, but it's still an option. It's just, we're just we're running out of room. Uh, but I think we could probably use what we have over at the Hilton a little more efficiently. So we're going to look into. I don't some think they'll ideas. have the new convention center built by then either. I mm-hmm. keep praying every night. It's coming. We can pray. Yeah, <laughs> that the convention ferry, uh, will, the convention. From what I understand, it's up. in the yeah. works. It's it's a uh, it's. I've been hearing that know. for six years though. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> this time there's actually property for it to go on though. Yeah. You know, so. Oh, man. That's start. See, I'll tell you what, what I liked the most was that we actually branched off into some cool things like the videos and the, the social media and the other pieces of, of tech and marketing and sort of bringing a, a business together in that in that realm and, and sort of how you can excel with it because as much of the tech market as we covered and as much of the entrepreneur stuff as we did, as, we, as we've done and talked about, like having that uh, piece to it because every business owner who doesn't want to do it all but ends up doing it all at some point because you kind of have to in the mm-hmm. beginning, those were, it was really good tips to help people actually be able to do it all for a minute and get off the ground at least get enough because you don't have enough money usually in the beginning to hire the marketing crew or to hire the, the guys to do the video. So if you can do some of it yourself in the beginning to get started and it works, then amen for you. So having some of that extra stuff in there, I thought this year was cool. Yeah, I think we're going That's to, my world too, though. Go ahead. So. I like that. <laughs> I'm just saying it's a great perspective. Yeah. I think we're going to um, get back to the uh, track format next year too. Maybe something geared towards a small business owner. We're going to kick around that idea. Um, definitely get into more deeper dive stuff on the uh, c- uh, cybersecurity side as well. Yeah. Uh, we're getting a lot of requests for that, and I think it's time that we we uh, up the game there a little bit in that, that regard, uh, especially when you have such a huge um, crowd show up from the cybersecurity yeah. side between you know, UWF and the military and everybody else that comes out. That's, yeah. that's a big part of the event, and we, we need to uh, expand the programming on that for sure. So uh, when we talked about the cyber competition, maybe bringing it around with some of the other national stuff that was going on. 
that's been yeah that's being kicked around, around as well yeah i can't thank ewf enough for stepping up and helping manage that this year they did a great job i think we got a great partnership going on with them and i hope that continues in, yeah. into next year they make it some big gaming championship too <laughs> i mean we could right i mean there's steel still cage death match type <laughs> yeah exactly thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. when do we get that. the robots in there and start blowing <laughs> stuff up right right <laughs> what do you think jay I think the uh, programming was off the charts Oop. this year. I was in two different sessions on one day that were standing room only. The audience was engaged, a lot of question answer at the end, and I had never seen it that level before. So I was pretty happy about the, the programming part. Uh, that was definitely different from years past. Yeah. So that was exciting. Uh, sponsorships, I think we're going to go back to booths next year. Uh, I can go ahead and put the call out, right? Sure. Uh, go ahead and put the call out now yep. for sponsors for this year. We're putting together the packages now, and we're which excited. will be way bigger and better than it was before because we now have a lot more dissemination capabilities. Absolutely. So I'm excited about that. We have a we have a sponsorship team. <laughs> Jay has Jay has helped this year. He's staring down Michelle. Is <laughs> I see. It's going to be awesome. Uh, so I'm excited about that. So if you're interested in sponsoring, definitely reach out to us. You can you can email sponsorship at i10wire.com. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That was one of the comments we got back in the surveys that um, for those that didn't notice or didn't attend this year, we uh, decided not to have the bronze sponsorship. Uh, sponsors have booths out in the hall, mm -hmm. thinking that would free up the space, make it a little more easier flow to get back and forth between the ballroom and where the food was, all that. But by the same token, it kind of took away, I think, yeah. some of the energy from the event. Yeah. And uh, didn't seem quite as busy out there. And, and yeah, sort of made it look a little desolate. When, yeah, when we wanted it to look full. Exactly. So we're gonna we're gonna bring that back. Uh, the, the we heard enough comments from the sponsorship side sure. that they would love to have uh, a, a presence there for, throughout the event. Yeah. So uh, look for the hallways to be a little more crowded next year. But I uh, do got to say though, I'm yeah. I'm gonna call this out for for all those that do sponsor next year. Like up the swag game, man. Yep. I'm sorry. I, I, I like the swag game. I like the, I like the notepads and the pens and the pencils and the highlighters. Like I got a weird <laughs> fixation with that kind of stuff. This this year's sort of swag game, and it's not just there. It's it's a lot of the places I've been to. Mm -hmm. The swag game down is down this year. It's just yeah. not. Uh, it's not as good as it used to be. But it you is. got Cheetos. Keith. I did get Cheetos. <laughs> now, now this is you know that that saved the day for all of it. But uh, but uh, um, you know to bring the call the cool gadgets and stuff. I mean, that's how, I mean, look, I, I, got, I mean, I'm covered with them here, right? Because people yeah. leave the stuff all the time and we use the notepads and the pens and all that. So for me, it's, it's like, it's free real estate, you know, for you guys, it's free sponsorship, right? It. So yeah. Yeah. up it, up the game. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're opening up uh, the call for sponsors, call for speakers, all that. Now we want to get a jump start on 2019. So yeah, sponsorship, it, sponsor it, sponsorship at i10. We should just make it a whole week. Yeah. 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 Just exactly. do the whole i10 week. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Jim's like, no, <laughs> no. If or the cruise. We talked about a cruise. You clone me about three or four times. <laughs> sure, have at it. So, um, I did get a lot of requests for um, for robots. Mm -hmm. That was the that was the one. And that was a legitimate request. It wasn't just like I just want to see robots. They they really wanted to see some of like the IHMC stuff that the people were working on over there, and some of the technology that's coming out that way. I just saw yesterday the commercial for the. It's the, what's the thing that hits the ground and vacuums for you in your house? Yeah, the Roomba. Yeah, but, but now they have one that scrubs. Oh, I it like one. shoots like like floor cleaner and then goes over it and scrubs it. Oh, yeah. I thought, okay, that was kind of cool, right? So there's technology, that, but to see some of that stuff coming into the uh, the play here would be pretty neat. Yeah. Having having an iRobot walking around mm -hmm. throwing basketballs and stuff would be cool. Yeah, that would be cool. Until it goes like, you know, AWOL or whatever. Yeah, we're going to reach out to some of our previous sponsors that are in that field and yeah. see if they can bring some toys with them. And Robot Wars, that, man, I'm telling you. Really neat. Yeah. yeah. That would be very good. Robots, AI, drones, yeah. um, mm -hmm. you know, virtual reality, all that kind of stuff. That that really is nice to have that kind yeah. of hands-on experience type. They had the, uh, who brought the little drone that they flew inside? Oh, Pelican drones? Yeah. Those things are a little scary. <laughs> I mean, it's cool because he had control of it, but I, I didn't realize, you know, I thought they needed all GPS and all that kind of stuff. So, but no, yeah. just right around in the uh, conference room there. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Thank goodness it didn't have the flamethrower attachment. <laughs> <laughs> we did tell them to leave that at home, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. So, um, okay. So, w w Jim, what do you, what do you want to see next year? Uh, since you've had some time to digest, do you think? Um, <laughs> other than maybe two or three more of you. Dear Santa, this is what I know. <laughs> Um, I definitely want to, uh, as I just mentioned, you know, get get more of the sponsorship sponsors back in the room or around the room, right. uh, bring that energy back. Uh, I, I want to elevate the cyber competition, take it to the next level. There, part of the issue we've been dealing with there is the bandwidth uh, problem yeah. uh, at the hotel, and I think we got a way to get around that next year, hopefully. 
Um, so maybe we can up the game there, make it a little more uh, uh, expanded as yeah. far as number of teams participating, make it a little more. There's even talk about maybe just making an individual competition versus teams next year to really, you know, it's sure would level the playing field, wouldn't it? Exactly. I mean, Creativity. you know, that's that. There's yeah. the equalizer right there, right? Is the is the computer? So right. Yeah, I don't know all the logistics behind putting that together, so I don't want to put that yeah. as a. In it's a hairy. Writing it's a hairy thing. Yet. Yeah, but we're, mm -hmm. we're definitely toying with that idea. Well, and I know he talked about also putting it in in some form of of uh, schedule with possibly some of the other competitions that go on throughout the nation and maybe making it a piece of of the semifinals or something like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Which would be really cool because then we'd have some outside people competing. Right. So we might be able to extend that reach of, you know, item wire to the, those that, that are on the other Take side the of the screen. So mm -hmm. we kind of thought that was kind of a neat idea. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, there's just no telling what's on the horizon. Um, surprisingly, you know, um, Ariane Simpson's talk about uh, cryptocurrency. That was a big hit. I, yeah. I was skeptical. Because she knew her stuff, too, man. She, she, she did. Wow. She yeah. did. Um, I was impressed. And I guess, you know, there's a lot of people out there that have heard bits and pieces about it, but mm -hmm. didn't know exactly what it's all about. Right. And she came in to help clarify that. Um, and I think she... <laughs> She uh, opened a lot of eyes with that. Too. So yeah. I'll tell you what I like. I'll tell you the, the reason that I really liked it. One, she she could speak in front of a in front of a group, which is huge. Like, and she was able to convey cryptocurrency to to me in layman terms because I had no idea what it was. Right. I was lost at the end of it because I didn't know what all the stuff that she was talking about. But for the most part, I understood where she was going. And it wasn't until people started asking like specific cryptocurrency questions that it just went over my head. And of course, I was doing other things too, so I wasn't necessarily paying attention 100 percent like I should have been. But I was really, really impressed with the fact that, I mean, she just knew her stuff. Mm -hmm. And and people were asking her questions to try and stump her, and it, did, it didn't it happen. Did I mean, she well, just she blasted it right off. Well, we are trying to bring in experts. <laughs> well, <yeah. laughs> I know, but, you know, I mean, this is such a new field for things, right. you know? I, know. I mean, right. you just don't. Yeah. And, and honestly, you don't know because you don't know. Yeah. So they could be fluffing a bunch of nonsense, and, and I would say, okay, because yeah. I just don't know the world of cryptocurrency. Yeah. But Kudos to Kelly Reeser on finding her. Yeah. She, she, she presented her to me and said, hey, I think maybe I'll roll the dice and step up on on our, our keynote speaker here and it, was, it worked it, out yeah knocked it out of the park with yeah that so we're getting uh, you know a lot of people were they huddled around her afterwards were asking her questions and stuff so mm -hmm. and they were all over that and i thought that was cool too the, the the fact that the speaker stuck around afterwards went off to the side of the stage and then were there and accessible for uh, attendees to come over and ask questions and stuff and, and hang out for a little while was was neat because usually they're off the stage and, and they're gone and you don't get to to, f to do any further discovery but uh this year they all hung out and Stayed around for like further questions and answers that went past their times, which I thought was really neat. Right, and we so. forgot to mention how we kicked all this off with the career expo. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Of course. So Michelle, what do you <laughs> want to see next year? Thank you. <laughs> you had a good turnout too, didn't you? We did. We actually had a, um, an increase from last year. We had 18 employers last year, and this year we had 27. And big, big ones too. Yes, there were big name companies, yeah. um, local companies with great Amazon opportunities. Amazon was there. Yes, IBM was there. Yeah, we got. Uh, we actually got some uh, re response over social media of people that actually landed a job. They told they were on Twitter, yep. Twitter, Twitter. <laughs> Twitter. <laughs> well, so, Jim just gave away <laughs> generation right there. <laughs> yeah, I definitely gave away my. Well, the tweets and the weefies <laughs> on the Twitter. Um, but yeah, it was just kind of neat. And I think that was within a week after the it event was. wrapped up. Yeah. You know, this, this guy was on there, you know, saying, hey, I, I landed a job just because That's I awesome. attended the expo. And that that kind of stuff, you know. That's exactly what it was there for, right? Yeah. That's yeah. what it was all about. You're on fumes trying to recover and, and not think about next year. But you see something like that, that just sparks yep. a fire. And, that you yeah. know you're in the right direction. Exactly. So I was very glad to see that. And we we love that kind more. of feedback. Yeah. We yeah. Want, I'm keeping in contact with those recruiters over the time so that it won't be, I'm asking two or three right. months out. We'll, we're keeping the communication open so that not only will this network grow, but we want to see it expanded, just as you mentioned yeah. earlier. So we'll get, we'll get even more next year. That's what I'm expecting. We'll be back in the grand ballroom, ballroom from what I understand. Yep. We've, uh, we've already nailed down our dates for next year. Uh, they're October 2nd through the 4th at the Hilton. I feel like I should write that down. Uh, yeah, it'd be <laughs> nice if you showed up. <laughs> But yeah, the plan right now is to have the uh, Career Opportunities Expo. That's it. On the second in the ballroom there okay. at, the, at the Hilton. Um, what days are those? Uh, that's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, by the way, folks. Awesome. Everybody wanted the end of the week. We're back at the end of the week. I like um, that because then you can stay and hang out. Exactly. Happy hour will start at 4 o'clock on Friday and run until midnight Sunday, I think. That's awesome. correct. That. Perfect. <laughs> um, we can't forget the Tech Opportunities Expo, or should I say the Tech After Five. Yeah. So we're see Thank if we can you, keep it. Thank you, Jay, for sponsoring. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 
Well done, sir. Good well times. Done. Yeah. <laughs> it was a mixer after the yeah. Opportunities Expo. We want to see that grow. It was a great opportunity yeah. for employers or recruiters as well as career seekers. To be in that non sort of professional yes, setting. Absolutely. Which helps but really with get the to know people. Yeah. Yes. If we can have it on site where the actual expo is at, I think that will help us out. You know, when you have to transport yourself a little yep. bit. I think people just tend to keep going across the bridge versus yep. pulling in the mm-hmm. parking lot. Yep. And that, yeah. that hurts a little bit. We're such creatures of habit too. Like you leave one place <laughs> yeah. and you're like, eh, I'm done, you know, as opposed mm-hmm. to just, you knew you, yeah. all you had to do was walk 200 feet. Well, that's right. It didn't it was, take It long. wasn't that far. But the ones who were there actually they did reap the benefits. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll, we'll just try to keep everything lo- right within walking distance of yeah. all the, whatever's going on. And hopefully that will just continue to grow like it has every year. And I can't, thank Michelle enough for you know what she has done with that and just the two years she's been on the team and you know you keep you raising the bar you, you know you, you made it work yes. you know yes. yeah so she, she does an excellent job Glad what to have uh, her on I want to Jay what do you want to see next year uh I just want to see as long as we keep growing you know I just want to see bigger <laughs> we don't have much room left yeah. Jay <laughs> bigger, better. I want bigger better uh I want more sponsors more I'd like to hit 500 attendees next year yes. And I mean, don't forget all the, the back end of this. You know, this is not a, just a once a year thing. It's a 12 month thing. Absolutely. And, and then we take that money and do all this cool stuff in the community with it. Yeah. Uh, so bigger and better. That's what yeah. I want. So what do we do with the money this year? Do, do, have we decided yet? Or is that something that we, we do later? Oh, it all goes to IT Gulf Coast for them to reinvest back in the community versus through STEM initiatives. Or, right. And they also have that endow- endowment with UWF um, right. as well. So it all goes back to the community. We may hang on to a little bit for CD money for next year, but for the most part, profits go right back to, you know, getting getting the word out yeah. and, and promoting STEM in the area and that, that kind of thing. So, um, it, you know, I, I, I don't want to see that change. And obviously, the more people that show up, the more proceeds right. we have to give back. So right. I, I think it's just it's only going to help us in this area more and more, more each year. So. Yeah. So Mr. Carney is going to be gone this year, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We'll miss him. We'll have to... Uh, We'll have to have his his, his uh, uh, symbolic funeral. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sing. Are you sing? Just have a big portrait. Oh gosh, but I'll sing. The back there. Yeah, uh, Paul, if you're listening, you did an excellent job again, yeah. sir. We yeah, appreciate always. everything you've done. We miss you. We should we should make him like the big Ho Chi Minh yeah. picture. Just no, hang no, him no. Back with the flag. We should just get the robotics people to program the robot to be. Paul. There you go. Like have a Sheldon. Yeah. 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 Exactly. In fact, uh, TJ might know where to get one of those. I bet. <laughs> or we get a hologram. Type See, deal that'd be going even cool. on. He can just, just do, do it. it from the home. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That'd be pretty He's, neat. Yeah, he could still be part of it. I so, still think Sheldon would be better, but <laughs> it'd be more. It'd be funnier. Yeah. Yeah. I like an hologram idea, though. You know, it might work. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, that's, and, a, that's a thought. Actually, anybody want to sponsor uh, Paul Carney's hologram? <laughs> <laughs> maybe Paul. Maybe, 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 maybe would, Paul wants to sponsor. What it. level would that be? Would that be ten, or would that be uh, ten silver gold? Yeah. It would be ten, right? Or ten oil, or. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> I mean, it kind of just keeps in spirit with the, how we try to do this event every year. We want it to be, you know, different right. every year. We don't want it to be the same thing. And, you know, I didn't really necessarily want to lose the voice of I-10. But, yeah. you know, so when you come back next year, it will be a different MC yeah. up on the stage. So Jim but, Rhodes. Uh, no. <laughs> no, 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 it won't be Jim. Yes, Jim. No. <laughs> if I can we're not gonna let that happen. everything, <laughs> right. maybe. But, no. Yeah. Um, so what do you think about the seating we had this year? Because I liked it. Personally, mm-hmm. I did too. I like yeah. the whole classroom style. We yeah, to kind of pay attention. I, I think so too. Um, what we may end up doing is, you know, we kind of we use the ballroom as basically a breakout room right. in between keynotes. And I think what we may end up doing is just pulling those walls closed um, to section that off mm-hmm. because there was a lot of background noise from the from the sponsor area there and all that it was kind of distracting. Yeah. Um, and I think it's you know closer closer. Uh, Put people closer to one another yeah. in, a, in a breakout session. So we'll probably do that. I think we need a bigger war room too. Yeah. Mm. It gets crowded. <laughs> that's that's it. minor. It gets crowded. But, but the big issue you're dealing with there is you've you've got to feed people. Yeah. And, you know, unfortunately the ballroom is serving that purpose as well. Yeah. You know, breakouts, keynotes, everything. So we gotta have time in there to do a, a room flip and get you know, more rounds yeah. in there for people to sit down and eat. Um, it, it was a nice change. I, we may change up the combination a little bit, but I think we'll kind of we'll stick with something similar to that yeah. this year. I thought I liked it. Like I said, I think it it, it, uh, it encouraged um, sort of paying attention. I think 
as opposed that, to sitting at the round actually, table, you start doing the, the discussion stuff, but that classroom style, you're, you're focused on what's in front of you and you, you kind of feel that yeah. the need to pay attention. Well, in a room full of rounds, it's just really hard to navigate around yeah. too. You're just zigzagging in like a bumblebee yeah. everywhere. If you can yeah. even zigzag. Yeah. We get yeah. to 500 people, you, you're just going to be standing room only. <laughs> as soon as the people are sitting at the chairs at the table, you can't get through anymore. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So... Cool, man. So um, hopefully next year we will uh, not have any hurricanes. We won't have any bad weather. We will have nice. I mean, it was nice this year. We didn't have, we didn't have anything like that. Mm-hmm. So yeah, no, ideally no like humidity. That. Well, a little bit of humidity, but not too much. Yeah, I'd like to have it a little bit later in October, but that's a very busy month out there yeah. on the beach. And I think that is probably one of the busiest months here is. in Pensacola. It is, and getting the end of the week slot was more important. So yeah. uh, I'm very glad that the Hilton was able to accommodate us. Uh, on Me that too. front and i uh, think a lot of people would be pleasantly surprised that yeah. that that comment came, has come up consistently the last couple of years what, being at the end of the week yeah they yeah. wanted us to move it back and we finally got it so uh, hopefully that will make a lot of people very happy cool so okay so we're uh, we're calling for sponsorships now we're calling for any speaker ideas now yeah Is there any speaker yes. ideas that you guys know for sure we would like to try gary v um anybody well, at all <laughs> gary v anybody <laughs> anyone, anyone? I mean, I'm just saying. Subliminal message there. Yeah. Um, uh, it's I'm going to tag him too on the tweeters. I mean, <laughs> on the tweeters. Yeah. <laughs> um, on, I can't believe I said that. So. Um, on the topic side, you know, cybersecurity, we definitely want to get into more deeper dive type stuff. So right. if you're at that expert level and, you know, know how to talk to a group of people that are on that same level. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the, the latest and greatest things that are going on in, in that field, it, we, we want to hear from you. Yeah. So, um, those part- guys are probably buried pretty deep into the mm-hmm. military sides of things and, and, and sort of the exactly. Department of Defense and but, black suits and yeah. they don't really exist kind of world, right? Uh, mm. Exactly. So uh, <laughs> programming at I-10 Wired, if you want to be a speaker, um, just, you know, submit your, your bio and uh, maybe a short abstract of what you want to talk about. Any links to YouTube videos you have out there yeah. of you speaking, that'd be great too. Um, so cyber robotics, cyber robotics, um, AI, AI, AI digital yeah. marketing. Yes. Um, just that's got some pretty good hookup on that digital marketing side of yeah. things. You guys went to that convention in New Orleans mm-hmm. or whatever. You all met a lot of people. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, another another topic that we were really were surprised by the turnout was the whole influencer uh, panel yeah. we had as well. So anything with you know, you know the social media side being on social media, how to how to become an influencer and that that would be uh, I think pretty cool. very well received as well. So um, that's a whole new world that uh, is obviously going to be viable because it's not going away. No. And people are they're making money. Jack and them are making money with it. I just I'm, I'm amazed. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. you know whether you're just trying out products or whether they're actually just being experts on what they do. Well, and all the, you know, the high school students we brought in, you know, they, they ate that yeah. up. That's, that's their world yeah. right there. So they're the tweeters, right. <laughs> the Twitter, the, the tweets. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to live that one time. Uh, I know. <laughs> what, are, I, what, what are some other subjects? What are some things you think we haven't talked about there that's in, in this realm? Like, have we gotten it? Like is the programming and all that stuff? Or, we, 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 is it, or is it sort we, of, that's yeah. a done deal. Well, we have gotten away from it. No, I don't think it's a done deal. Um, I think, you know, learning how to write code is just almost a basic skill every kid should have. I, I think they're like learning it in school now, like yeah. like yep. almost from like kindergarten on with the, the colored blocks and stuff and the logic of what comes next. Yeah, I would like to see something like that come back. Um, you know, the things that... I'd like somebody to be able to explain it to me. Yeah. Like, like here's the here's the layman's way of understanding programming for those that grew up in Generation X where you had no instruction manual to begin with, you know? Yeah, mind you, we don't need anybody talking on Fortran or COBOL or anything like that. Right. But, you know, something like Python. Right. That, that's a big... See, so those words are foreign to me. But, well... But I'm assuming that means easier stuff. <laughs> well, that's, that's big in the Google world. Right. So, you know, if you're a student and you're dreaming of going to work for Google, you, you, you need you to probably learn need to learn it, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, anything like that, we, we definitely want to hear from yeah. you. Um, nothing's off the table. Like every year we wipe the slate clean, right? Kick off the me uh, planning new in, ideas in 2019 January, and uh, we'll we'll just fi- build it from there. Yeah. So, any companies you'd like to like think of being present in some way, shape, or form? Well, like Amazon, Google. I mean, obviously. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, I was just gonna say I really liked uh, the IBM Watson stuff. Yeah, and that was that's cool. That's only going to get better. Yeah, and, I really and they're local they too. Back. Like yeah, Jonathan's here locally. Back, yeah. Uh, that was exciting, though, because it's going to change just immensely, you know, in the next nine months before we have the show again. So I'm really excited about that. I would love to get some of the people that were at the Career Expo yes. to become sponsors that weren't sponsors and, and maybe see a, a Google or an Amazon or somebody like that, too. Let's team up. Right on. And absolutely all our previous sponsors we would love to have back sure. as well. I mean, it's 
again, we're, we get off on a tangent sometimes that we're just talking about the latest in technology and all right. that, but the p- part of the spirit of the event is to showcase what we have here. Correct. And, yeah. you know, we have this tremendous uh, talent pipeline from UWF, PSC, and, and you know, all the schools, yep. and we want to show those students that there is opportunity here, and we can do that by having them present when they're here attending yep. the event. They go out in the hallway and say, oh, I didn't know that company was here, and you know, go pick yeah. up some swag and maybe find a job. I'm telling you, I, I, I want IMCMC to break out. I know they've got stuff in the vault there that would just be they awesome. To share. To, yeah, totally. Mm-hmm. With, exactly. with it, just robotics running around. Be, I'm t- oh, this is just me. I'm a dork that way. <laughs> <laughs> I had the erector set growing up as a kid, you know, and all the things that, cool you know, thing. you tried to make Johnny number five and all that. And mm-hmm. yeah. We so. need to mention the University of South Alabama. They did send some yeah, students that's right. to participate. Yeah. They've been in the cyber range competition. Yeah. So. Yeah. So we're. I mean, you, we're pretty much regional now with this thing, right? It's That's not really just local. See. I mean, you got Alabama. You got some people from Georgia came in. Yes. Yep. And we want more actually. Right? So mm-hmm. bring it. So where can, where can I get some information then? Where, where are we sending them to? Send them to. I had an old the, website, but we'll keep it the same. The email address is Career Opportunities Expo at i ten wired dot com. Cool. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Yep. And it encompasses more than the Career Opportunities yeah. Expo. When we receive information, we share. Yeah. And so, and we've got, we'll have like all this info on our website, right? At tenwire.com, we'll have things that we want for this year once we finally decide, like what's, what's going to be. Yes. We'll it's not of, up there yet. Right. We'll have some kind of information where yeah, people can check it out. We're doing a little bit of prep work over the holidays here to kind of get her, get, get her, th- yeah. Uh, <laughs> still messed up with the tweeter comment. <laughs> uh, You're among friends. Get things geared up for 2019. There's some groundwork that, I, that I'm trying to get laid down. But, so the team is ready yeah. to go in, at the end of January. Um, but it, it will be up on the site yeah. or on social media. Um, so just, you know, Get signed up for the newsletter, follow us, and just stay plugged in. This is something that goes on year round. It, it, it tends to people tend to think it's just an October thing. It's not. Yeah. We're trying to keep the conversation going year round. Yeah. So um, very cool. You know, make sure you're you're keeping tabs on us. So um, I would like to. I'm going to throw out there. We need a slogan. We need the sign off for the Atom Wired Radio Show for this radio show. We need a sign off. You know, like for for PBR for Pensacola Business Radio. It's it's business is good and your work matters. For here, we need the sign off. So. I'm going to throw this out there. If anybody can come up with a sign-off, the winner can be my co-host for I-10 Wired Radio at the at the uh, expo. So if you uh, can think of a good sign-off, it's got to be catchy. It can't be can't be uh, uh, off character. Needs to be, <laughs> needs to be needs to be par for the course. But uh, uh, whoever whoever can submit one to me at uh, you can you can mail it to uh, email it to Keith at 850media.com, and uh, whoever uh, gets the best one can be my co-host. So there we go. We'll see what That's happens. Incentive Can we add there. a caveat yeah. and maybe they'll add Cyber Coast to that? Hey, you know what? Yeah. I'm cool with that. So, yeah, you know, and that's just it. You just find us something that encompasses everything that we do. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> and, <laughs> and and put it in a tagline, you know? So yeah, we'll see what happens. One big tagline. That's I'll it. Tell you that. I like and it. And that's okay. I'm I like okay it. with that. I like that. We'll see what happens. Let's just hope that they're really good at a co-host when they win. <laughs> <laughs> so... Our tagline um, is two paragraphs. <laughs> Before we wrap up, I just want to personally send out a huge thank you to our planning crew. There, yeah. There's so much blood, sweat, and tears that goes into this thing every Literally. year. And, I mean, everybody here is a volunteer. They are, you know, taking time away from their job. And, and you know, like Jay, he owns his own business, and he's, you know, t- making time out for this event. Michelle, I don't know how you ever they even let you go to begin with, but you know she's there. She just kind of comes and asks for forgiveness later. <laughs> That's it. Actually, it works out because it's part of my sector strategy right. as far as my outreach is concerned to businesses. So that is my big yeah. business outreach for the year, and it works so well. Yeah. I am totally committed. There's a if you go to the website um, about I10. There is in that section. There's the list of everybody that's been involved with the planning of the event, and you need to, to give. Give them a pat on the back, buy them a drink. Yep. They, they do a great job every year. And I, do we have space for more if somebody else wants to join sure. in? Sure. We yeah. are always looking for talent. Um, we love to get people in their wheelhouse helping out with the event. So yep. if you got a specialty and you think you can contribute, we want to hear from you. Yeah. Um, I think when I started, there was, what, 12, 13 of us? Now there's mm-hmm. 20-something? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, the, and Thank God. <laughs> yeah, the, the fact that the same people keep coming back every year, I mean, it's yeah. a family now. Yeah. And it's that says something about, you know, how the team works and, and you know, how their dedication to the event. That, yeah. that That's what fuels me every year, just coming back to that group. And well, it's nice not having to work with an entire new team every year, too. <laughs> <laughs> that on top of everything might that, make it a little true. difficult. And, uh, and just on a personal level, a huge shout-out to App River. They give me a lot of time to do this. Yeah every year and I can't thank them enough because it's a, it's a passion of mine and, and it really means a lot that they 
they support me yeah. each year doing this. So very cool. All right, well that's, that's, that's about it. If I had a tagline, I'd say it, but we don't yet. So insert tagline. Here. Insert tagline here. <laughs> Follow us on the Twitter. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You guys can find us at the uh, itemwired.com or at itemwired across everything else. Right? Instagram, Facebook, exactly. social, any social tweet, media, whatever it's called. LinkedIn. Yes. So yeah, that's it. So okay, so insert tagline here. And we are, we're on. This has been I10 Wired Radio. For more information, visit i10wired.com. I10 Wired Radio is brought to you by IT Gulf Coast, Florida West, App River, and 850 Media.